So Chilicum's first meal of the day today happens to be all herring, and some of this herring has some of his vitamins inside of it. I really like the way Tilikum looks this morning. He looks bright, he looks engaged, and he's eating really well. So let's say in that initial observation, I notice an animal is swimming differently than other animals or uh, breathing a little bit differently than I'm used to. Well, I, without hesitation, we'll pick up the phone and we'll call the veterinarians. So as the veterinarians, we come out on a routine basis to do exams, but we really count on the trainers to be our eyes and ears. Knowing the animals as, as individuals and knowing how they interact with each other and with us is it's all a part of being able to read their behavior and we do a full body exam on that animal we'll check inside the blowhole smell their breath look inside their mouths and check and make sure that they're eating okay preventative medicine is a big part of what we do and that's just essentially a wellness check uh, where we're going to do an exam get blood work that's going to give us baselines we've been working so hard to prepare the animal to be able to give the sample or the exam to the vets. So for an ultrasound, we train the animals to keep their body at the surface so that the veterinarians can read their ultrasound. Sometimes we'll get what we call a blow sample, which allows us to look better at their respiratory tract. Uh, we can get gastric samples, which tells us what's going on in their stomach, fecal samples, which tells us what's going down further in the digestive tract. Uh, we can get urine samples, which gives us an idea what's going on with their kidneys. With Tilikum specifically, well, he's one of our older, more mature whales, and so I will assess his behavior, but then I'll go to some of these guys who are with Tilikum seven or eight times a day, six or seven times a week, and I'll say, you know, this is what I'm seeing, do you see it too? We might see for older whales that their kidneys aren't functioning quite as well. So we'll start looking at those kidney values to make sure they might need additional hydration. And if we institute additional hydration, how those kidney values are responding to what we do. We're a team that we rely on each other to provide the best possible health care for those animals.